Hello everyone, and before the video starts, I want to apologize for A, the horrible sound quality during the video. I will try to fix that until next time, and B, my also very horrible voice. Um, that is because my throat was hurting at that day, and um, I still decided to record the video. So, um, yeah, and I don't want to re-record it, because this was already like the 14th attempt of recording this video and I finally got it right so I'm not going to redo that so you just have to live with that I hope you still enjoy it and still learn something and well have fun with the video why hello there everyone and welcome to the second part of my Assetto Corsa tutorial series the first part which was uploaded a bit more than a year ago by now I think featured a promise of mine that I would record a second part and here we are today. It took me long enough and many many different attempts at recording but um, here we finally are. Now what are we going to do today? We are going to change the wheels on a vehicle. So we have vehicle A, we have vehicle B and we put the wheels from the vehicle B onto the vehicle A. What you need for this would be obviously a set of Corsa which you can buy on Steam and well, you should have it. <laughs> then you need the content manager for Assetto Corsa, which I will link down below. And for all the information on how to set that stuff up and such, there is the first part of this tutorial series, which I will also have linked down below, and also in the info card. Then the next thing you will need is a 3D software of your choice. I personally use Blender because it's free to use and it has quite the good amount of functions and is relatively easy to get into so we will be using that today. Blender will be linked down below or you can find it easily by going into your browser and searching for either Blender or just typing in blender.org that will lead you to this website and you're gonna hit on it. Click download Blender then download Blender 3.1 3.0.1 or whatever version you will have available by then. Then just save the file, which I already have. Then just run the file and install Blender. When it is done, you do not need to open Blender because we don't need this at the moment. Now what you do need to run though is the content manager as seen here. And before you can start with getting your cars as a 3D model, you need to activate the developer mode for a set for the content manager. And how you do that is relatively simple. Of course, it is hidden like in most programs. You have to go up here to About, and then in the About tab, there is the version number. This is the version number of your content manager. And right here, you can see a five digit number. Now, this is, of course, still the version number. But if you click on this number often enough, there will be a pop-up window coming up in the middle of your screen. And that will ask you whether you want to enter developer mode. And you, well, click yes, because you want to enter the developer mode. Next thing you need is an add-on for the Content Manager, which you can download right in Content Manager. This add-on will allow you to export the KN5 files, which is the file format that a Assetto Corsa handles their 3D models in into an FBX file which is a universal file format that any common 3D program can open. That for you will need to go into the settings menu and over to the content manager tab and in this list right here you will just have to go to plugins. Now the plugins side has just a bunch of different plugins that are basically included in Content Manager and that you can install from here. What you need, you will need is the FBX converter. You should have one of these big old install buttons there. Just click on that and the FBX converter will install. Just make sure you have the F this little box here ticked so it is actually activated. Now the last thing you will have to do is find a vehicle and find a vehicle which wheels you want to take. Now, if you go over into the Contents tab, you will have a list of all vehicles that you have installed for Assetto Corsa. The normal vehicles as well as the mod vehicles. Now, I have chosen this BMW M3 E92 as the vehicle I want to put new wheels on. 
and this Honda Prelude as the vehicle I wanted to take the wheels from. So we will end up with these wheels on the BMW. Now what do you have to do in order to get the 3D models and work on them? Firstly what I would advise you to do before you do anything is if you take a Kunos car which is indicated by these symbols right here and those are the base cars in the game you, the first thing you want to do before you do anything is click on the unpack data button down here this will open up the cars folder and in this cars folder you have a data folder this data folder was just created from the data in this data ACD file which is basically an, an encrypted version of the folder. You can now go ahead and delete this file because you have all the data in here already. The reason why we do this before we do anything else is because when we create our project, so we what we are going to do is duplicate all of this so we do not mess with the original files. When we duplicate this and we unpack the data ACD file afterwards, the data in this file will be absolutely useless and we cannot use the car. But if we unpack it first, then we have a clean data that we could then can copy, if that makes sense. Now the next thing would be we go into the cars folder, so just one folder further up. With the car that we want to work on selected, we can just hit Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to uh, paste. So we basically duplicate the folder, this will then appear as a copy and hit F2 to rename it, I will just rename this modified. So I always know which one I am working on at the moment and that I also have the base files still there. Now we can close this up right now and in the content manager content tab we can now see we have the M3 E92 and we have another M3 E92 with a little green circle here. This just indicates that it is a new file. This is a new vehicle. But other than that, those look exactly the same. Now to differentiate between the two, I'm going to click up here and call this E92 modified. So we can well see that it is not the same vehicle. Now to save this, so it always stays named like this, we're going to click on the save button down here and we have this saved and it will always appear like this. Now we still need to get the 3D model and before we do that I would suggest that you make a folder somewhere where you put all your projects into. In my case I already have a folder for my mods and I would suggest you put create one as well wherever you want to have that. In this folder I have a current project folder and in this folder there are more folders of current projects I am working on. Since we are working on a new project right now I will create a new folder using Control Shift and N and rename this to M3E92 so we all know what we are working on. Now this folder is empty of course because we just created it but we will fill it with files in just a second. Back to the content manager and to the car we will be working on, you should see this button down here, the CM showroom, which is the content manager showroom, which is something different than the normal showroom, which is from a set of Corsa itself, because the content manager showroom lets you work on your 3D models or on your car. So we will open the car in the content manager showroom by clicking on this right here. And once the content manager showroom opens, you should see something similar to this. The car in an environment with the camera placed somewhere around it. Plus, you will see this little window up here that has many different tabs, but do not go into any of these tabs. If you have, for example, gone into well, any of these, you can just click on this arrow and you will go back to the normal overall menu. Now we can now see here that there are tools, then the update ambient shadows tool which we don't need and the unpack LED KN5. So we will click on this so we have the KN5 model exported into an FBX file and here we see the things that have been exported. We now can close up the content manager showroom because we don't need it of this BMW at the moment 
So here we are. We have a texture folder with all the image textures this vehicle has. We have an FBX file, which is the 3D model, and an INI file, which tells the game how the materials of the car are handled. Now we're gonna select all of these and hit Control C to copy. Move over to our project folder and Control V to paste it in here. So now we have a texture folder here, the FBX and the INI file all here. We can now close this folder here of the BMW and go into back into the content manager and search for the car we want to take the wheels from. Now here's our wonderful prelude and just like the BMW we are going to open it in the content manager showroom. Now some vehicles don't have the option to be exported as an FBX file such as this payload here apparently so we will have to find a different vehicle. And right here I have found a Nissan 180SX with some nice looking wheels that I will be taking and putting on the BMW. So just open up in CN showroom again, hit unpack LOD KN5. Again we have the texture folder, the FBX file and the INI file. And make sure that the name of the FBX file here is not the same name as the FBX file of the BMW in our case. Because most of the time these model these files are called model in this case the bmw is not called model so we are all good now we can select all of these and just move them over here into our m3 project folder and when it asks us whether we want to replace files that already exist we are going to say no skip these files since I butchered this in the original recording, I will just redo this little um, audio part. Um, the reason why we don't replace the files that already exist is because the files of the 180SX in this case are secondary since we only need a few parts from the 180SX, so we rather keep the original files from the BMW, so we have a higher chance of the whole thing working. And here we are. We can now close the content manager showroom. We can close the folders we have opened and we can also close the content manager itself. Now it is time to open up Blender. With Blender open up you will have this default scene that everyone has. And we don't want any of this to exist in our case. So we will hit A on the keyboard and then delete on the keyboard to clear our scene. You can also if you do not have a delete button hit X. That will also delete the object for you. Now, before we do any importing or anything, movement in the 3D space, because you will need this. You can click on the middle mouse button and move the mouse about to rotate around a specific point in the 3D space. Scrolling to zoom in and zoom out. And shift plus middle mouse button and mouse movement to move in the 3D space. If you do not have a mouse and use a laptop, no worries. You can use this gyroscope here to look around, this magnifying glass to zoom in and out, and this hand icon here to move around in a 3D space. Now that we have clarified this, we want to import our car. That we do by going up to File, Import, and then selecting FBX. Now here we will have to navigate to our exported cars. Here we are in the Asato Mods folder that I created going into current project M3 E92 and now we will import the model that we first exported, so the BMW one, which is the LOD0 file in my case. Select this, click import FBX and this ta will take a few moments until the 3D model is there. Now the 3D model is here and it looks quite messy in fact. Now what are these things? These are empties or dummies that a set of Corsa uses to identify where what is and what to do with a vehicle. To keep things organized we will move over here with the cursor to the collections basically and we can see in the collection name collection we have a lot of objects now basically well all objects of our scene. We will just close this up right now so we have this collection minimized, click on the scene collection and click on this button that is labeled new collection so we have a second collection. With this collection selected we will now go back to file, import 
and hit FBX and import the second model. Now the second model is here as well and it is right inside of the BMW. But before you select anything, before you click on anything, you need to move the Nissan out of the BMW. And you can do that by hitting G on the keyboard and then moving about the mouse to move the object. Now we want to move it upwards to have it above the BMW, so I'm going to hit G and then Z on the keyboard to move it along the Z axis and I'm going to move it up and out of the way a bit. So these two are now separate. Now that is it for part 2.1 of the Assetto Corsa tutorial series. I decided to split that up into two parts so it is not one giant intimidating video. The second part, so the part 2.2, will feature all the actual 3D work and the exporting of the finished 3 model and import into Assetto Corsa again. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them into the comments down below. I will try to answer as many as I can. I hope I could help you with the export of the 3D models and I hope I can further help you with the second part of the second part. Well, with the part 2.2 when we are going to import the model back into Assetto Corsa. And until next time, I hope you all stay safe out there and I also hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye.